The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good morning, folks. Welcome to the May 18th, the fantastic Friday edition of today's Trader's Zed Show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. And let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. Now, the easiest way to do that, well, it's to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. When you and I make that one little two by four shift, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I, we're going to go start. We're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We'll go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I at just past 11 o'clock in the morning. I do want you to know I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here. But even more important than that, and that's this. During this next 53 minutes, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. Dial on in at 877-927-6648. Now, if you can't dial in but you got a question, we've got a solution. Send me an email. Send that out to Steve at TFNN.com. But inside that subject heading, if you'd be kind enough to put radio show question. Of course, if you're inside our Tiger's Den, well, then any and every ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on Fantastic Friday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to the show. So right now, we got a mix back out there. The mix is really coming from the NASDAQ, which is off three points. The semi's down 22, and the trendy's off 62. Other indices to the upside. Dow's up 63, about two tenths. Two tenths for the S&P are nine uh, points. The Russell's up one point, so it's flat. New York Stock Exchange up three tenths percent, 46 points there. Gold is up a buck 60, while silver's down 23 cents. Natural gas is up seven pennies, while light sweet crude is flat. The Hurrier Treasury is down 23 ticks, printed out at 127.06. Now, leading the charge today to the upside, dollar-wise, is Regenerate Pharmaceuticals. That's a $15 move, a 2% move. Globant SA up 15 bucks, nearly 15, 10% move. Thermo Fisher Scientific, 750, uh, 1 4 tenths percent. Adobe, $7.11, nearly 2% to the upside. To the downside is Mercado Libre, off 25 bucks, nearly 2%. Decker Outdoor, 22 bucks, 5%. Ulta Beauty, 22 bucks, 4%. Foot Locker, 11 bucks, 26%. That's a big, that's a big hit out there. So where do we want to begin? Let's begin here. Let's begin by switching over to a different panel. Let's go. Well, wait, wait. We might have a caller. We have a caller, and then it will be up. Oh, we do. We've got a caller, and we've got call ahead scene here. So let's go out to Brent in Martinez, California. Hey, Brent, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you this morning? Oh, I'm doing great, Steve. How are you? Excellent. Thanks so much for asking. i got a big weekend planned. Well, we're getting ready to go back to Boston on uh, this next week. I, I told Basil about that. I'm hoping to meet up with him. I know he's out of the country at the moment, but I cool. think he'll be back. So, yeah, yeah. going back oh. there, my son is uh, getting his master's from Harvard. So we're going to go back and watch him oh. do his you know, graduation walk. And just, yeah, I've never been back there, so it'll be kind of oh. fun, just a few days. So, congratulations yeah, to yeah, congratulations to you and your son, your family. That's a that's a fun thing. Very cool. Very very yeah, so very. This cool. weekend, yeah, just kind of prepping for that, and then I did watch that game. I'm sure you watched that hockey game last night. I, I, it was pretty I uh, pretty impressive. Those guys going into. I only made it to the triple overtime. I didn't make it to the last one. Yeah, well, but seven seconds. So I, I did stay up and watch that game. And I, uh, I, I said to myself, I will not stay up and watch another overtime. I'm just gonna, it was two o'clock in the morning, you know. So oh, I know I for like, you, it was late enough for me, let alone for you back there. It's pretty crazy. Yeah, yeah. But I, the thing was, it was, it was such a good game. It was hard for me to, uh, it was hard for me to turn it off, you know. But I, I was glad, I was glad for the outcome. Um, those guys have got to be just exhausted, you know. Can you imagine? And they played. Oh, you could tell. Crazy. 
yeah, you can tell that, uh, I mean, that's pretty crazy. So you want to take a look at uh, Sybane Stillwater. Um, I know you've been observing this or looking at this for a while. Tell me, tell me what you're doing, how I can best help you. I still don't have a position, but I have noted that I think today is bar nine on the Correct. daily. And my only concern, and maybe you can take a look at it, is if you go, you can probably do it on the weekly or the daily. There's um, the potential for another AB equals CD down, and it would be right. from, I think it's right. the, the January high of around 12. Yeah. And then it came down, I want to say, into March and then, you know, for the B point and then the C is, I think, in May, I, I believe. I, I don't have it right in front of no, me, you're, but you're, you're, I'm sure yeah, you're, you're right. what I'm talking you're, about. You're, yeah, you're absolutely right about that. Um, if you look at the weekly chart, it just it stands out a, a little bit clearer. So on a weekly basis, that swing point, Brent, did, uh, and this is the swing point from September 19th, 2022, did volume about just over, just under, just over 20 million shares. And uh, this week we are at 14 million. So you're going to pass that B point with light volume. But nonetheless, the pattern is still out there. And what Brent is really talking about, it's a very large A to B equals CD to the downside. The A point would start out here. Well, I, I'm going to start with the March the March high, March 2022 20, high out there, just the, the bigger A to B equals CD pattern. And then that September of 2022, and then a retracement up into January of 2023. Now I know Brett, you're looking at another A to B, which I'll draw in here. So there's this larger one that is potentially in place. What Brent is really kind of referring to, if you take a look at the daily time frame, is where that C point is for this chart. We're on the weekly time frame. Now I'll make that the A, the B point would be down at the uh, low from March the 6th, and the, the uh, C point would be the high from last week. And that would give you a one-to-one -one price projection of uh, 526. So I see exactly what you're taking a look at. Um, and you're below profiles on the uh, daily and weekly and monthly. So all of those uh, give us reason to pause. So no doubt about that. Um, uh, let me switch over to the white background chart here, just so we can try to pick up any kind of signals here. And maybe what the better... Um, what the better plan might be. So as Brent pointed out, we do have a TD9 count bottom that is going to confirm today. That is as long as price closes below, which it looks like it will, close below $7.96. Now, the low of this pattern, folks, can form on the bar following bar number nine. We can see that the low so far has already occurred on bar number eight. So it's a qualified uh, TD9 count bottom pattern out there. So the weekly shows us that price is stretched. And the last time, and when what we're really looking for here, Brent, is we'd be looking for a bullish reversal candle. Now, the nice thing about this week, it's a small-bodied candle. So it would be very easy next week to generate a bullish reversal candle. And the last time that we had any kind of rally here, it was a Roachman to Indicator bottom. It was that one that rallied off of the low of September 30th back in 2022. And it rallied for a, a couple of months out there. So just your typical two-bar two on a monthly basis, you know, kind of knee-jerk reaction high out there but so what I would do is we have price on a monthly basis Brent at its breakout level of 739 the daily with a bottom I'd wait for the weekly to generate that bottoming signal for us and then I'd say then it would make sense to to move to the upside now we're about to go to break here I, I spoke a little bit too long so do me a favor just hold on through the break and then I want to be able to answer any other questions you have about this or, or discuss anything else that you'd like. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be back with Brent in Martinez, California. And congratulations to him and his son graduated from Harvard. You gotta love it. We'll be right back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30 plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com 
TFNN Educating Investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. Call, call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. We're talking with Brent in Martinez, California. We're taking a look at the stock charts for ticker symbol SBSW out there. And, Brent, before we get back into the uh, stock chart, uh, the folks inside the Tiger's Den, one of the individuals inside the Tiger's Den, wanted me to share with you. They think that while you're over in, uh, in Bo the Boston area, you should uh, check out Charlie's Kitchen. And they're also suggesting that you order the double cheeseburger special. You like cheeseburgers? <laughs> Of course I do. Who doesn't? Exactly. Make it, <laughs> making me hungry here, uh, which is not a good thing. But anyway, so back to the stock charts. For, so thank you, uh, Mr. Z, for that uh, for for that uh, re, uh, recommendation. And uh, we'll have to see if uh, Brent uh, takes you up on it. But we're taking a look at the stock charts here for, for Cybane, SBSW. Does that make sense, what I kind of shared with you as far as how I would consider trading this? Yeah, I guess wait, my wait. general question is, do you think the likelihood, I mean, there could be a short-term bottom, but do you think there's more potential for this thing to be going lower over time or that this could be some kind of a, you know, a bottom that is forming it? Because I'm, I'm looking at this as a, something sure. kind of a longer-term trade. I'd like to get into it because I think it's got stuff going on with the company itself right now. They've got some issues, but over the long haul that, it, it, you know, if I can find the right bottom of the thing, it'd be worth doing. But I just not sure, sure this is sure. quite it yet. Yeah. I think the way that I would answer that that question would be as follows: If we did get the bullish reversal candle on a weekly basis to confirm a Rhodes momentum indicator bottom, and it happens, let's say next week, then you have everything that you need to certainly take a stab at it. Because the reason why it could be the bottom is because on a monthly basis, price formed that TD nine count top a Rhodes momentum indicator top, and has pulled all the way back to its breakout level at $7.39. Now, it hasn't hit it exactly. It's been down to a low of seven forty five, but that's close enough for us. And if we got that bottoming signal on the weekly time frame that I would say fire away, uh, it's not as if, in the, in this case here, we're, this has a – so we have 10 years' worth of data, and this is that seasonal data out here. So it's not as if uh, this thing is a rocket ship to the upside out here. Um, but with regard to the market signals out there, if you did get that uh, confirmed bottom pattern on the weekly basis, I would take a stab at it. Yeah, I've definitely been listening to you on gold as well. So, 
Okay. So like we might be heading into a period, you know, where that, you know, it's, at, it's pulled back and maybe we're getting into, it sound like, uh, you know, probably more at the beginning of next week, potentially that could be a, a bottom for that as well. So. Absolutely. Absolutely. So I know I'll, I'll do my, I'll do my best to, uh, to cover gold, uh, uh, during the show today for you. All right. Or thank did you... you so much, Steve. Just have yourself a great day and a, and a great weekend. And you bet. Sure I'll be and... talking to you in the near future. You bet. Safe travels. Congrats again. And uh, we will look forward to speaking to you. That was Brent in Martinez, California. Uh, let's get to another request that came in. This one uh, from Rob who wants to take a look at uh, Archer ADM out here. So let me get the uh, chart. Let me give me some Archer Daniel Midland, right? Uh, let me get the charts up on our screen. There we go. So I think it was just simply, well, let me actually, it came in by email. So let me actually read it. It says, uh, can you take a look at ADM during the show, in particular, the profile levels and the seasonal trends, if any? Okay. So with regard to uh, profile levels, um, in the case here of uh, Archer, Archer Daniels Midland, it looks like it does have a completed by the D point pattern. And that formed yesterday with that bullish hammer candle. So if we just draw it in, let's just make sure. So if I just simply go from uh, the high out here for the A to B, so A, we'll take this right to there. We're just simply going to move this over to the high that forms after that low. We're going to try to. It's actually going to be on the same candle, which is fine. So you can see that this completed the one-to-one -one A to B equals CD to the downside. So your first question is, um, can you take a look at ADM during the show, in particular the profile level? So the first level of resistance is going to be 73.82. And Rob, that is the daily oscillator and change line. If price can get above that, then the next resistance level is the profile areas. And that's at 74.74 or 75.23. If this does rally, if this is only a counter trend move, then ADM will find resistance at 75.23. On a weekly time frame, I don't have any kind of a bottom. I do have a swing point being tested that did volume of 20 million shares. You're testing with 11 million shares. Now, what you really need to see is price close back above 73.98 at day's end to then have a test and rejection of a swing point on lighter volume. And on a monthly basis, no pattern there. So it's really right now up to the daily time frame. Um, with regard to the weekly, you're trading below profile. 76.41 would be the bottom. On a monthly, 70.80.50 would be the bottom of its profile but the daily is definitely going to make an attempt to try to form a bottom now seasonally what does ADM do don't know but let's see if we've got the data on it to find out so ADM well it's in print there we go let's try this ADM grab the data here we go and we have a total of well 43 years worth of data so now here's the interesting thing Rob we just took a, so in over 83 years ADM bottoms basically like right now. Right now, yesterday, tomorrow. Well, it wouldn't be tomorrow. And then it rallies. So you should get a rally, seasonally speaking, up into about the for end of the first week of uh, June out here. Um, so, yeah, this has got everything that you uh, need to uh, take a position. Now, I will share with you one other thing that we can take a look at is a 30-minute time frame. And a 30-minute time frame here shows that road's meant to indicator bottom signal. And we can see that price is going to make its way up in your bar number eight right now. If I just update this chart here, we'll see we are in bar number eight. And so this is going to form a short-term top or should form a short-term top because price is forming that short-term TD9 count top right at TD9 count breakdown resistance, 73.64. So I'd wait on it. I see what that pullback looks like out there. Um, and uh, be, uh, and then take a stab at it. Now, with regard to a pullback, where would you take a stab at it? Um, you can do a couple of different things. One, you could take a stab at it between 72.59 and 72.73. That's the bullish structured daily profile. Maybe you take a look if it does pull back and gets into the swing point. The high is at 72.72. If you can do that with lighter than 118 million shares. Uh, 118,000 shares on a 30-minute uh, time frame. That could be your signal out there. But it does look good on the daily time frame. The 30 just says a little caution right now. So maybe you come back and take a look at it either this afternoon or on a Monday. But that's what we're taking a look at with regard to ADM. So I hope that helps you out. And thanks so much for the request. The next request coming in from um, S1. And the question was, uh, VGZ, will it get to 50 cents? So let's try to go find out uh, what this uh, might be uh, doing. Now, let me, uh, because I've got probably a little bit of a delay, let me see exactly where this is printing. Uh, 62 cents. So the answer to that question, S1, uh, will be revealed to you uh, next week. And the, the reason is, is yesterday 
was a TD9 count bottom pattern. Today we'll complete the pattern. Remember, on a TD9 count, that low can take place on the bar following bar number nine. Now, I don't know where this will trade to today, but if it doesn't get below, if it doesn't get to 50 cents, you're going to have a bottoming signal on a daily time frame inside of BGZ. Now, what you're going to have on the weekly time frame is price pulling back and testing support. Support was the oscillator and change line at 60 cents. On a monthly basis, price is pulling back and testing support. It tests the resistance, the top of the profile, at 72, but also testing support, its oscillator and change line. So will it get to 50? Look, the daily time frame right now is signaling to you that price wants to at least move up towards a 67 cent level. It still may get down to 50, but 52 cents is its TD9 count breakout level for the daily time frame. But right now, BGC is looking like it wants to make some type of bottom. Seabroads with TFNN. We'll be right back. Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFN. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, uh, folks. We've got the uh, Dow trading off 70, 107 points. The s and is now down 8. NASDAQ's off 35. Russell's down 8. Semi's off 27. Tranny's down 131. So now we've got a sea of red out there. You've got gold is up 18 bucks. So I don't know what Powell said, but he did something. 
out there, and that has certainly moved the uh, markets just a, a tad out here. I'd say more than just a tad. Uh, silver still down 23 cents. Lights we crude off 32 pennies. Natural gas up six cents. Thirty Treasury now printing out at 127.20. That is down nine ticks out there. But let's continue on with the questions here, and then we'll come back into the details. So we'll let some of whatever it is that uh, they're talking about. Uh, settle in on the market. And uh, this question is from a code inside the Tigers. I want to take like a ticker symbol SWN out here. So SWN is trading right now just above, it appears to be just above at 546, uh, just above the top of its uh, TD9 count to breakdown area. So that would be a nice bullish outcome. Coda is a close today above 547. If you get that, it would then suggest to you and I that price wants to make a run up to 602. Now that's coming off of the daily time frame chart out here. On a weekly time frame chart, price is taking on the resistance level established by its bearish structured profile area. So it could get a bit choppy out here, Coda. That's between the range of 546 to 573. If this can clear 573, then we're taking a look at moving up to about 714. Now, the last time price was up at the top of that profile was back in the week of February 27th. There was 149 million shares traded. This week, you are at 118. So you're coming in a little bit light in the uh, loafers out here, although on a daily basis, that's about 23 million shares. But it'll still be, um, it'll still, looks like it'll still be light coming in there, but not that light, right? So you do have accelerating-ish type volume. And on a monthly time frame, price has held the monthly bullish structured profile area to suggest run up to 587. So I'm going to sum it up like this. You close above 547, then you're headed higher. There's no daily topping signal. 602 would be a next target. 573 would be a next target and 587. So that would be the range out there, Coda. So hope that helps you out with Southwestern Energy. Thanks so much for taking the time to write in and have a, a fabulous weekend out there. Uh, the next request was to take a look at Lightspeed Crude. So let's do that for John inside the Tiger's Den. And uh, John, Lightspeed Crude, let me get to it here. Uh, trading out at... So we're playing to trade in the July contract. It's trading out right now at 71.27. It's off 64 pennies. And what it's doing is it's testing the bottom of its, well, on a monthly basis, testing the bottom of its monthly profile. So an area to watch is 69.36. On a weekly basis, this uh, will today, if we get a bearish, a bullish reversal candle today, this will confirm a buy the D point pattern. But what price really would need to do to get any kind of traction is get above that red oscillator and change line at 74.12. But the weekly has the potential for a buy the D point pattern, John. On a daily time frame, all that I know is that price was able to hold that TD9 count breakout level at 67.04. You and I know that strong support. But where strong resistance is, turns out it's at the center of this profile at 73.56. And if we take a look at today's high, Today's high 73.58. So that is a real struggle for Lightspeed Crude. It's testing support, the oscillator and change line. So we're kind of in uh, nowhere's land out here. If I look at a 30 minute chart, you can see price testing support at 71.52. That's his TD9 count breakout. So if you're asking me, do I have a real clear signal with regard to Lightspeed Crude? The answer would be no. It's really a, a pretty decent sideways consolidation. When you take a look at the weekly chart, right, it just kind of simplifies that consolidation pattern if we open it up, which we'll do here, or I'm going to try to do. We don't try to do anything. We either do it here or we don't do it, all right? You can't try to do anything in life. You've got to either do it or don't do it. All right, enough of that. Let's take a look at so the consolidation pattern that really sticks out. It's a, it's a, it's a big one. I'd say it's, yeah. Probably something like this is the consolidation pattern that we're in. So you just got this big consolidation, and I don't have a real clear, other than that, I don't have a really clear vision through these uh, chart patterns and signals out here as to what's going on. But I watched today's candle. If you do get that bullish engulfing in lights recruit, it is not anything to ignore. So, John, I wish I could have been more clear, provided you with more clarity, but this is what the charts are communicating to me. And so that's just simply what we'll have to do is just uh, move on to the next one. Uh, let's go to uh, Mr. Z in Philly. John, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you today? Steve, I'm doing very well. And uh, I will also uh, extend my congratulations to Brent and his family. They'll have a ball uh, and be filled with pride to watch their son uh, graduate. Uh, and I do have to uh, reiterate 
go have a double cheeseburger special at Charlie's Kitchen. Now, now tell me, okay, is I like I like cheeseburgers. I'm good with that. I like a bacon blue cheeseburger. That's one of my favorites. So what is it that makes this cheeseburger? Or is it the institution? Is it just the environment or is it just is the burgers just simply that great? It is the combination of all of those mixed together. Okay. All right. Perfect. Perfect. I love uh, it. Uh, right. You're making so, me hungry. Uh, so, You're making me hungry. Uh, so we will hear in the coming weeks whether Brent did or not. But uh, I, I You're putting the pressure it. on him. Anyway, You're Steve, I'm calling to ask yeah. you, please, uh, if you would do your thing on Adobe, A-D-B-E, uh, yeah. I'm most interested in what the weekly and monthly charts are showing uh, regarding your data. Just for what it's worth, I'm long this from last September down under 300. Uh, I bought it when it when the stock plunged, and the stock plunged way back then on account of Adobe uh, uh, offering to purchase a uh, uh, a small privately held company called Figma, F-I-G-M-A. Okay. And they offered to pay just an exorbitant price. And so uh, uh, dilution, uh, retained earnings and value dilution uh, were the fears back then. So the stock plunged. I bought into that. What I see now uh, on the daily and weekly charts are higher lows. Uh, I see on the daily chart the stock now coming back up from underneath, uh, retesting the 200-day exponential moving average. And um, Adobe may get the deal done. Uh, They also may be uh, uh, precluded from so doing by regulators. Mm -hmm. I guess my guess would be if uh, regulators prohibit the deal, the stock dilution uh, threat is gone. And uh, if uh, if they do get to do the deal at the exorbitant price of billions, uh, the stock has already uh, digested that threat. So um, yeah. that's the fundamental case. Could you share with me once again the weekly and monthly details that uh, that you look at that uh, you would be focusing upon now watching this Absolutely. rally? Absolutely, John. So uh, that, that's really, you see, you've simplified everything, and the uh, magic number is 386. And 386 is the top of the weekly profile. Now, this is the, uh, the, it had a prior weekly profile out there, and there wasn't a substantial change between the two profiles. And we can see that that was tested back uh, April 7th as well as March the 31st out there. Prices above, it's also during change line, so it should go target 386. But, John, just hold on through this break here. We'll come back. We'll take a look at the daily, the weekly, and the monthly charts for Adobe. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, 
you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A Share Bull and Bear ETFs. China A Shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. To Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Welcome back, folks. We're looking at the stock charts here for Adobe, the daily, the weekly, the monthly. Each have bottoming patterns. The daily bottomed about uh, five, six days ago with the Rhodes Momentum Indicator bottom. The same thing on the weekly, but that was back in uh, 2022. Uh, the resistance level, John, that you're looking at, 386 on the weekly and 390.21 on the uh, monthly time frame chart, which is the oscillator and change line. If price can uh, get above those uh, levels, then you're likely headed to the upside. Of course, you could set up a weekly a to B equals CD pattern if this can close above 402.49 and preferably with more than 15 million shares on a, a weekly basis. Those would be the, the numbers that I'm looking at. As you look at these charts here, is there anything else that sticks out to you or anything of concern or anything else that I can provide to you? And my one response to your question, Steve, is given the data you just displayed, uh, there's uh, nothing that I would see that would tell me to exit the long that I've got from last September. One thing Absolutely. I'll just lastly share with you, Steve, uh, you might uh, show this in the Tiger's Den when I sign off uh, or even to your clients. Um, Steve, I, I, can't, um, I can't help but thinking that uh, uh, while you and I do not commiserate and work together closely on our respective pools, yes. I can say that uh, a lot of what we observe uh, tends to be very similar after we all go through our individual work. And I'll state this. I'm attracted to what I see on your Adobe monthly charts, where I see the rally has come up and tested multiple times your oscillator unchanged line on that monthly. Yeah. And parenthetically, Steve, I'll just say uh, I spoke to you Monday last where I called and asked you kind of similar questions about Micron stock, ticker symbol MU. And I'm fascinated to see that when you shared your data on MU Monday, we observed that the monthly chart also, in the case of MU, showed the uh, MU monthly chart. The rally had come up and tested multiple times your oscillator on change line and stopped. Yes. So uh, I, it's just fascinating. That piece of data for Adobe and Micron on the monthly are identical in that sense. I just uh, I can't help but think that's that is just fascinating. 
Well, that's great. And Micron having a, a fabulous week out here. And uh, on that monthly chart, uh, folks, that's a very right-hand panel. You can see it is now trading above that green oscillator and change line. And the, the importance of that is the, a green oscillator and change line tells us that the price oscillator, which is the difference between two things, in my case, it's a difference between the 39 and 19 period exponents moving average. It tells us uh, that when it's green, that that price oscillator is above zero. Those are bullish conditions. And now when the price is above a green oscillator and change line, that tells us we have a rising price oscillator above zero. So that is very bullish. Now, you're about to uh, run in and see just how strong the sellers are. Because inside of Micron, John, they are sitting at $69.77. And that is the top of that monthly profile. So, um, so that's what you're looking at there. Is there anything else that I can uh, help you with? Thanks so much, Steve. You've taken care of it all. You have a good weekend. And I will look forward at some future time to having a meal with you at Charlie's Kitchen in Cambridge. You got it. I love it. All righty. That'll have to be after I've lost all my weight. That was John in <laughs> Philly. Hey, John, thanks for calling. You have a great weekend. Let's go to our next request out here. This is from coming inside the Tiger's Den. McGuppy wants to take a look at Sting, S-T-N-G, out there. And that's what we've got up on our screens right now. And the question is, is this a bottom or is this a counter trend rally? This is Scorpio Tankers. So how would we answer that question? Let's answer it this way. Let's start with the longer time frame and work our way back. On a longer time frame out here, what I don't have is any kind of a topping pattern. What we do have is price pulled back and it tested and rejected the green oscillator and change line. So I just went through a little bit of time on the green oscillator and change line. It pulled back to a support area. This is still bullish. If we take a look at the weekly time frame chart, this did confirm a road momentum indicator top and price pulled back and tested its bullish structure profile area. That has held. You're now above the center of the bullish structured area. Typically, when you close above the center of a bullish structure profile, now this would require two closes, so that would be next week too, but let's just assume right now that it will do that. Well, then price should make its way up to the top of the profile. So staying on a monthly and a weekly basis is telling us it wants to make a move up towards the 5603 level. Now, 5479 is going to be some selling. And quite frankly, at 5079, you're going to have some selling. Now, what this is trying to do today is take out a swing point. The swing point is from May 12th, and that swing point did volume of 1.9 million shares. So far today, you're at 410,000. So a little light in the loafers out there doesn't matter, but everything here looks good. The question is, is this a bottom or a counter trend move? Right now, I don't have any signal at all to suggest this is a counter trend move. Not a single one. So it looks to me like this is a real rally, but you'll get that real change in trend signal when price can clear those profile levels. So really, McGuppy, it won't be answered until you get a close about 5079 right now on the daily time frame. So I hope that helps you out. Thanks so much for taking the time to write in. Let's go take a look at our next request out here. This is coming from Hector, and Hector wants to take a look at the QQQ A to B equals CD pattern. So let's go find those four. Now, what uh, Hector is looking at is the monthly time frame chart, and Hector on a monthly basis, if you're looking for a confirmed A to B equals CD, we don't have one. The confirmed or the non-confirmed, quite frankly, the A to B equals CD pattern is really drawn here on the weekly time frame. This is the one you should be looking at. So the A point is going to start all the way down at the low. That came in in October of 2022. And then we have a nice rally, makes a high in January of 2023 at 313.68. That became the B point. Price retraces right into support, the bottom of its profile. It does that in March, March 13th to be exact of 2023. You then pass the B point, which was 313.68. Now, volume there was 300. 30, 322 million shares. It was passed, but with 272. We have not passed that swing point with volume. Does that matter? No, not always. It does not matter. Um, and how did I determine that? Uh, because I trade currencies. And currencies, we do these same patterns, A to B equals C to You don't have volume out there. So you'd like to have volume to give you some assurance of what buyers and sellers are doing. But you, do you need to have volume to confirm an A to B equals CD? No, you don't. You just need to pass the swing point and then monitor things from there. So here you've got a, a move, a confirmed move up to 344.61. Now, um, I'm going to move back to the white background charts. We'll put up the uh, the chart for the Qs. We'll do that in, in a moment. Let me change windows. Let me get back there. Let me actually type it in. That would be a good idea. I don't know if I typed it in or not. So let's just type it in here now. So I won't go searching. What we're going to see here, folks, on the daily and the weekly, I believe we'll see this on the daily and the weekly, is what we're going to see on the daily is yesterday was a confirmed TD9 count top. On the weekly, 
Today will complete a TD nine count bottom. So as long as the Qs do not close over yesterday's high, yesterday's high is 337.49, then they will signal that we should expect and anticipate a pullback to at least the oscillator and change line. That's at 331. Now here's the real kicker though. We're gonna get a completed TD9 count pattern on a weekly time frame. And assuming that the high of the week, which we just took a look at, no, we didn't, the actual high of the week's a little bit higher, is not taken out next week. And I may be taken, I mean close above, you'll have a TD9 count top. What should it do? It should pull back to its oscillator and change line. What's that number, Steve-O? 315.76. So if you'd ask me in the queues, where's it likely to pull back to? The number? 316.21, the TD9 count breakout level for the QQQ. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back up, folks. Oh, geez, I have the wrong contract up here. Son of a gun. How did I do that? Oh, and now I just, oh, man. Nice nice job there, Stevie. We just went dark, not intentionally, but um, shoot, NG. Well, here, that's fine. We're just going to, I'll give you the analysis. So both Coda and uh, SNP want to take a look at natural gas. They've got the same patterns. It's just I can't give you what the uh, profile level is that uh, price might pull back to on the daily on the set of charts here. But what you're going to see is you've got a TD9 count pattern that's going to complete today, $2.66. Actually, I've got it another chart out here. What's likely to happen is price is likely to pull back. Now, the level you're looking at out there for both Coda and SNP would be $2.60. $2.60 is the top of the 
the July profile out there. So that's what I would expect price to do is uh, pull back. Now, when we take a look at the intraday signals here, we have no topping patterns at the moment. So is this going to turn into a TD nine count top or not? The weekly says we have a change in trend. This has not been above the top of a, a weekly profile. We're going to close above it for quite some time. So natural gas appears to be giving us a change in trend, but I would expect to anticipate a retracement. Maybe it's just a two day retracement Monday and Tuesday of next week. So I hope that helps you guys out. Uh, last question was really to take a look at the GDX here. Uh, let me pull up and take a look at that. And the GDX we're really waiting for uh, a uh, well, that wasn't the GDX, so that's not what we're waiting for. Let's try this one. Here we go. So in the case of the GDX, I don't have any kind of a bottom signal. Today is going to become bar number eight. The more ideal pattern would be that we spike below yesterday's low on Monday or Tuesday. And that low was 31.48. And if we do that, then what we could get is a GDX with a, uh, a TD9 count bottom. And then just uh, with regard to Brent asking about gold, if we go take a look at gold, and I'll put the daily and the weekly up here. What we will see is we will see a TD9 count that could form. And in its case, that's gold's case, it needs to spike below yesterday's low. Today is going to become bar number eight. So that says by Tuesday, we need to spike below yesterday's low. And that low out there is 1954.40. If we spike below that, we will get a TD9 count bottom. And that'll be the signal to take a long position in Goldilocks. Folks, stay tuned for great programming. Have a fabulous weekend. I'll see you back here on Marvelous Monday. Take care. Be safe out there.